Fires. Stop the fires before they could hurt anyone inside. But that was close. Hope Dr. Foster doesn't. Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. Something around here. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. This one's really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. Whoa. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Let's see. I can't wait to see this grow. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Oh. I just gotta patch this up. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Take care of those boxes to get to that leak. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? I think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. What's been up? 
I found the sweetest email in my inbox today, and I just had to share it with you. It reads, Dear Danica, I know you're reporting on high-profile stories these days, but if you have time, I'd like to forward a public thank you on your show. I'm a BBA senior who would never have gotten an A on their final cinematography project if it wasn't for Spider-Man's help. I was so grateful, I decided to name my new hamster after him. It meant a lot that he took the time to help me, given how much he's had to deal with lately. Sometimes, the smallest good things make ripples. If you read this, Over here. thanks for reading. Sincerely, Odyssey. Oh, Odyssey, I love stories like... We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. No. Spider-Bot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. All right. I find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider-Man, thank you. Hey, Clark, did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Spider-Man. Ah! Ah! <sighs> I mean, whoa. to test out my pulse blast then. should be getting a new location any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. What are those breathing exercises again? Testing time for my latest upgrade. Oh, shoot, it's very heavy, that's right, I swear. Hey, Clark, did you get the last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider Man. Leave it to me. just sent a new location your way, but this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? 
They're not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on. Nobody here. This will take some maneuvering. Mention the flame. I just, I just want it out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. Get out of here! Oh, the fool's beacon! You probably said you'd face us eventually. Prophecy? Oh man, I've always wanted to be in one of those! Not crazy about the nickname, though! Ah. This is a great test! <laughs> So, what's my prophecy? Endless fighting? Death by building? Grow four arms and become a giant man spider? The third was the rest of the unworthy. That's it? Oh, okay. Guys, can we take this outside? Is everyone okay? Besides me knocking you out, obviously? We are better than you ever will be. Who are you people? The only ones worthy enough to survive what's coming! Finish him off before the police get here! Pretty sure this building is gonna fall apart before then! What's your deal? There you are. Hey! 
You never did like my smoking. Yuri. Little life's call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried. Where have you been? No time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Looks like Yuri took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her and the other on these cultists. I need more eyes. Suffering through a litany of problems right now. Inflation through the roof, feckless government officials, and a country on the brink of a collapse not seen since the fall of the Roman Empire. Yet the worst, most insidious dilemma we face is that of the faceless. It seems another masked vigilante is bringing their illegitimate justice to the streets. All reports indicate an individual disguised in purple and sporting a take-no-prisoners approach to the illegal activities they perpetrate. Some of you have criticized Spider-Man for not going far enough. But I can't believe what I'm saying. That's not in their jurisdiction. While they shouldn't be out there in the first place, at least they haven't sworn themselves as judge, jury, and executioner. We have systems in place for this people. If this new hero really wanted to enforce order to the fullest extent of the law, they'd join the police department. Why is it so hard for some people to follow the rules? This is the case. Peter, I'm so glad you could help. Clearly, we've got a failure to thrive, and we haven't yet been able to diagnose the reason. Can you sort it out for us? Thanks. These plants should be doing much better. Something's making them sick. Water quality is crucial. I should analyze that. All right, my little plant friends. What's got you feeling so sick? Don't worry, I'll get you all healed up and ready to feed the community. Looks like you've got some kind of pathogen, but what kind? What have we got here? Gotta identify this molecule.
Science, I love you. Huh. Looks like this pathogen usually affects plants in the river. But fish are immune to it. I think I just found our cure. Let's splice some genes. With a little genetic engineering, I can make you guys immune to this pathogen just like these fish. Now I just need to get a cooperative sample. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Where are you? I promise you'll be back in the water in two shakes of a fin. This one won't work. Gotta catch another. A perfect specimen. That's one slippery sample secured. Now to take it back and splice it with the plants. All right, my leafy greens. Let's get you feeling better. We need to insert this fish gene. Okay, Feast should be able to work with these. Can't wait to see him thriving. You'll be feeling better in no time. some perspective on our mutual friend. What Jonah do this time? Usually I can deal with him, but lately it's like he's determined to get under my skin. You're a veteran. Any advice? Fear, thank you so much for helping us out with our machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation, we're now teaching our drones what to do in the wild. Once you get yourself set up, this recording will continue. Okay, let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. Great, let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. Got it, let's go. No thanks, bee-eating wasps. Bee wolves, be gone. Gotcha. Who knew rats ate bees? Rats 
That sure will eat anything. Nice. Good. You've completed the data set. Now, in the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. The real estate, here we go. Look for the flags. These are ideal relocation spots. Here we go. I'm like a B real estate agent. A B real estate agent. Drone will self-pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter. That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful. Him, but lately it's like he's determined to get under my skin. You're a veteran. Any advice? With Jonah, it's a never-ending war. Trust me. Hello, Peter. Welcome to the real-world trial for our ultra-efficient battery bicycles. Nice. We'd love you to take a bike for a spin. Passing through 10 checkpoints to measure real-world battery metrics. Head to the bike rack in Central Park and hop on. Your badge will grant you access. No need to make headlines. This is a job for plain old Pete. Now to grab one of these sweet state-of-the-art rides. Okay, let's head to that first checkpoint. Check it in at the checkpoint. Ooh, concert happening today. and Harry and I have been to some great shows in the park. Hey, that sign will make a good ramp. Harry and I used to go to concerts out here every summer. Maybe we can bring that tradition back. Check. That's not right. I don't think this bike was supposed to provide its own fireworks. This isn't safe. At this rate, the battery will overheat and explode. I've got to hurry and get it to the bike station, where it can drain the charge safely. things blow up on me, but this would be my first bicycle. <clears throat> Gotta hurry. 
hurry. Come on, bike. Hold together. Maybe I can vent some of this excess charge by depleting it with a speed boost. Bridge is blocked. Gotta get over there somehow. will safely drain, but I've got to tell Dr. Wynn a short circuit seems to have caused thermal runaway. If it didn't happen in the lab, I'll bet fluctuating out... ...store temperatures of the culprit. I've got some ideas for better thermal regulation. Okay, MJ, crisis averted. Like I was saying, with Jonah, it's a never-ending war. Trust me, pick your battles. You'll learn how to tune them out eventually. I'm not sure I have that superpower, Spider-Man. I know I can't die on every hill, but... Mm. But you're Mary Jane Watson, defender of truth. A much cooler superpower. <laughs> but maybe you have to give an inch to get one? Ugh, I don't know. I'll think about it. Thanks, Parker. Anytime, Watson! Trying to brand someone. Hey! Are you crashing my fight or am I crashing yours? Crash and drive, dude! You can't escape! Bounce, but I appreciate the assist. All right, but the next post fight piece is on me.
help out EMF. Where's that kiosk? Hello, Peter. As you can see, these cassava plants are alive and quite hardy, but grow too slowly for food production. We want to hybridize them with a more productive variety and would welcome your help. Cassava plants growing too slowly, huh? Better head to ESU. A professor there just discovered a new variety that grows impressively fast. They'd make a great hybrid. Their rare variety of the Asian cassava plant grows like crazy. And I'll only need a single leaf to splice with ours. The professor is always looking for practical applications. She'll be super into doing a collab. Stole the cassava? I've got to track down the thieves before they get too far. Maybe there are some traces of pollen still in the air. Got it. Glad this plant is a wind pollinator. It releases so much pollen, I can see the path they took. Now let's see where these pilfering plantsmen went. There it is. That's like a rock star plant with all that security. something to plant my fist in your face stop fighting us i need this plant for an experiment to help feed new york if that means anything to you no really oh, here we go what kind of plant is this i think it's called the back to jail plant that plant you couldn't have walked far all right buddy one quick stop at feast and then we'll get you back home glad we nipped this nefarious plant in the bud see what I did there yeah I knew you would huh. wait your name's not Audrey is it Parker stop talking to the plant Borrow a bit of your super special genetic material to help your cousins grow faster. Okay, so we want some extra growth genes from our guest plant. There he is! Huh? Oh no, you're not touching that! That plant must be really special to you! Did I say that? We just followed you straight back here. Pretty dumb. We got a gift for you, Spidey! Watch out! You don't want this! Let's try that again. And there we go. The plant will be secure in this workbench until ESU can buff up their greenhouse security. If 
Beast will really be able to improve their crop yield with these new hybrids. Ah, very useful. 